Senua's Sacrifice Hellblade 2 is quite possibly Xbox's most important launch of 2024 and potentially is one of the most stunning games ever. And so of course we here at FGS are incredibly excited about it, foaming at the mouth we are to learn more. Well, luckily for you, we have collected all of the things that we've found and we're going to present them for you right now. As I'm Jules, this is FGS and these are seven things you need to know about Senua's Saga Hellblade 2. Number one, a blockbuster sequel to a cult classic. Now, the original Hellblade definitely looked amazing, but the reason that so many fans adore this cult classic is its surprisingly thoughtful portrayal of mental health, with the game growing through word of mouth to reach over 6 million players. It's available on last-gen platforms, including PS4 and Xbox One, and it's even available on Switch, so you've really got no excuse to go back and try this one before the sequel drops this year. Also, it's available on Xbox Game Pass and Xbox Cloud Gaming, just like Hellblade Blade 2 will be when it launches, so if you've already subscribed to that service, you can play it right now for no extra charge. Now, in 2017, the game launched to weirdly mixed critical and user reviews, but almost everybody agreed on three major factors. The game was stunning, the puzzles definitely got tedious quickly, and the franchise had huge potential, thanks in part to the game's fantastically unique protagonist, a story that wasn't afraid to tackle some pretty dark themes, and a rich world based on Norse mythology, which was unlike anything we had seen before, excluding if you took a look over at uh, God of War. Of course, now we have two God of War games that do a pretty incredible job of in introducing gamers into that mythos, but even so, this uniquely dark fantasy tale explores those myths through the context of Senua's psychosis, making for a terrifyingly engaging playthrough. That this sequel to the 2017 gem is set to continue Senua's story and has become one of 2024's most anticipated games with trailers racking up YouTube views quicker than me running away from my responsibilities. The question is now though how Ninja Theory can cement Senua as a video game icon and give this franchise a solid foundation for continuing installments down the line. Number 2. An Unreal Engine 5 Showcase Now Hellblade 2 has been built from day one on Unreal Engine 5 and even with its dark mysterious setting, both environments and the characters characters look almost unbelievably stunning in trailers that we've seen so far. The game was showcased at Epic Games' State of Unreal presentation during GDC 2023, where Ninja Theory showed a new tech demo boasting how it pushed the boundaries of real-time facial animation with Unreal Engine 5 and the new MetaHuman Animator. The first game had incredible character facial animations for the time, and when combined with its portrayal of mental illness, it created a truly engaging and uncomfortable series of cutscenes. We've seen a lot of Unreal Engine 5 games teased that have blown players away with jaw-dropping graphics, but not many have shown as much as Hellblade, and even fewer are likely to actually launch in 2024. Finally, my fancy OLED TV will be worth the money, right? Right? Speaking of fancy shiny things, why don't you subscribe to the FGS YouTube channel? We're fairly new here, but we are loving what we are doing, and that includes putting out daily gaming content, and obviously there is a weekly series hosted by yours truly called The Deep Cut with Jules Gill, baby, which are lists with a big twist, which is that pretty much every single entry is a deep cut game that you need to know more about or have never even heard of at all. So why not subscribe to the FGS YouTube channel today, baby! Number 3. A potentially controversial returning mechanic Now, the 2023 Game Awards featured a brand new extended look at this new title, showing it to be equal parts brutal and gorgeous. We saw Senua navigating through an intriguing dark fantasy world, getting down and dirty with some new melee combat, and more on that later, and sneaking through all sorts of creepy tunnels. Now, the visuals aren't just spine-chilling, they're actually based on real-life Icelandic locations. The Ninja Theory team spent two weeks scouting and scanning real locations across Iceland and apparently have not deviated much from those original scans whilst creating the environments and levels for this game. And we also get to hear Senua say, Eat death. Inked and blood. Now, this could hint at the return of one of the original game's most interesting, although ultimately pointless mechanics. You see, early on in the first Hellblade game, Senua contracts the Dark Rot, turning the veins in her arm inky black. Now, the game tells you, the player, that each time you die, the Dark Rot will infect more of Senua, and if it takes over entirely, the game is done, insinuating that if you sucked too much at this game and died too many times, well, you'd have to start over from scratch. With no way to tell the progress of this affliction other than spinning the camera around and checking visually, it's certainly 
certainly added a sense of tension to the game's combat. However, it was quickly proven to be a bluff on the part of the development team, with Ninja Theory issuing a statement to clear up the confusing mechanic. They claimed that a major theme of the game is fear of death, and that this in-game message hinting at the permadeath mechanic was meant to instill that same anxiety and fear in the player. Regardless of what you think of this switcheroo, the voice line from Senua in the latest trailer definitely hints to this mechanic making a return, and maybe this time will have real consequences. Number 4. Improving its biggest flaws 2017's Hellblade was, at its core, a third-person action adventure game. It was tightly designed, with the developers implementing just a handful of mechanics that they were able to execute well. From what we have seen of it so far, Hellblade 2's gameplay looks set to build on this foundation to offer more variety and complexity in its combat. While Ninja Theory was once known for creating fast-paced action games like 2013's Devil May Cry, Senua's sacrifice was much more simple, with the core focus being on the story rather than engaging combat. But it now looks like that's set to change. In an interview with Vandal, combat designer Juan Fernandez explained that Ninja Theory was raising the bar with respect to Hellblade 2's combat. He noted that development of the first game was completed by fewer than 20 people, and that Ninja Theory has drastically scaled up its production efforts for the sequel. As a result, we should expect the Hellblade 2 combat to have more depth and for enemies to be more varied. And this is definitely notable from both trailers that we've seen so far, with Senua using a wider variety of weaponry and combos. The original game's combat definitely wasn't bad, and the combo system did have some interesting ideas, but it got old fast, with long drawn-out fighting sections highlighting the lack of diversity and options the players actually had. Hopefully, with a larger team and more development time, Ninja Theory can lean back on those Devil May Cry roots to create something compelling that is engaging to participate in as the story is to watch unfold. Number 5. Experience 3D audio like never before Even in 2017, Hellblade was pushing the boundaries of what to expect from audio in video games, and if you're heading back to play the original before the release of Hellblade 2, please, please, please make sure you play it with surround sound or at least a decent pair of headphones, because the original game was one of the first, and still to this day one of only games, to use binaural audio recordings in the making of the game. And that means that sounds come at you from all angles, which is nothing new if you're talking about bullets whizzing by you in COD, but the way in which this puts you in the unique mind of Senua truly hasn't been replicated in any other game since. In fact, the only other example that I can think of is Alien Isolation, where, well, let's just face it, that was absolutely terrifying from all angles. And this incredible feature is making a comeback in Senua's next game, as seen in the latest trailer. Number 6. Xbox has high hopes for this key exclusive. Now, 2023 wasn't the best year for Xbox first-party launches, with some of the most anticipated games of the year, Starfield and Redfall, significantly missing the mark for a lot of players. On the other hand, it was a great year for smaller games like Hi-Fi Rush and third-party titles like Lies of P making a splash launching into Game Pass to critical acclaim. So then, it is important that a game with the level of anticipation surrounding it as Hellblade has launches well for Xbox. In a December 2023 interview, head of Xbox Phil Spencer was asked which upcoming releases he's most excited about, and top of his list is Senua's Saga Hellblade 2. He said, I just love Ninja Theory and all the work that they do. Their craftsmanship is fantastic, I love how that game is coming together. And more recently, industry insider and leaker Nate the Hate claimed that mock reviews would place this game at over 90 on Metacritic. If that turns out to be correct, well that could see Senua's Saga 2 score higher in reviews than last year's Marvel's Spider-Man 2, potentially making it the highest review reviewed Xbox game ever. But we'll ultimately have to wait for the game to be released before we find out that for sure. But you know what, you might not be waiting long, as number 7, the confirmed release date is sooner than we expected. After the most recent Xbox developer direct, we found out that Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 will be releasing on Xbox and PC on May the 21st, 2024, and of course it's going to be coming to Xbox and PC Game Pass day one. Many had expected the game to release later in the year in the holiday period around November, but good news, we will not have to wait that long. Now, while the first game launched on the PS4 and eventually made its way to Switch, you won't be able to play the sequel on PlayStation and Nintendo platforms. Well, for now at least. Recent rumors have suggested that Xbox exclusives like Hi-Fi Rush might be making its way onto Switch, so you can cross your fingers, but you might be crossing them for a while, and that's going to just cause a lot of issues, like trying to open doors or drive or wipe your butt. Xbox purchased developer Ninja Theory in 2018 alongside Playground Games, Undead Labs, and Compulsion Games, and so will likely be keeping Hellblade 2 as an Xbox 
Xbox console exclusive. However, the game will be playable on Xbox Cloud Gaming, so you could theoretically play it on phones, tablets, Samsung, smart TVs, or any PC if you're subscribed to that service. Not an ideal way to play, but perhaps it's your only option if you're desperate to jump into the Hellblade sequel and don't have the required hardware to download the game. Either way, I am pretty bloody keen to hear what you think about Hellblade down in the comments below, and remember to subscribe to the FGS YouTube channel and TikTok social medias as well. Big love to you. As always, I've been Jules. You have been awesome, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.